I like attracting birds to my garden. And I like fun garden projects. And I like growing things like birdhouse gourds. So join me as I put all three of those together and make some gourd birdhouses. Hi, I'm Gardener Scott, and today, with the help of an inquisitive cat and my special helper grandkids, I'll be turning these birdhouse gourds into birdhouses. Now, they're called birdhouse gourds for a great reason. They're very easy to turn into bird houses with just a couple simple steps. You can't do this project with any old gourd or any old squash. It really needs to be one of the hard skinned gourds, the kind that basically turns to wood when it dries. And these gourds have been drying for over a year. It's important because the seeds inside need to be completely dried out. So when it comes time to remove them, a simple shake is usually enough to loosen them from the attaching membranes inside the gourd. So, if you're growing your own birdhouse gourds, and if you're using those birdhouse gourds for this project or any birdhouse gourds you might buy, make sure they're completely dry. The outside is hard, and the seeds rattle on the inside. Before you begin this project, you'll need to decide how you're going to use your finished birdhouse. Is it going to be a house for birds, or is it going to be a piece of art that you hang in your garden or maybe in your home? And the reason you have to decide that beforehand is the size of the hole matters. Some birds require very specific sized openings before they'll enter and make it their home. If the hole's too big, you might not attract the birds you're looking for. If it's too small, you might not get the right kind of birds. So you'll probably have to do a little bit of research to find out what size that opening needs to be to attract the birds that you want. If it's a piece of art, the size of the hole really doesn't matter. It can be any size you want based on what you're looking for in a piece of art. For me, I want it to house birds. So this opening needs to be one and a quarter inches to attract the kind of birds I'm looking for. To do that, I actually have a hole saw that is a one and a quarter inch saw. I find this to be the easiest way to create the hole, and you'll see this in just a minute. The other option is to just draw a circle and then cut it with something like this Dremel tool. And I'll show you how to do that, too. I'll begin with this gourd and with my inch and a quarter hole saw at about a third of the way up the gourd. I'll start drilling my hole. You can see how fast and how easy that is. The Dremel tool is a little harder to use. I made a circle here, and now we basically just have to carve out the circle. The opening is going to be much more ragged, so I'll have to go back in and finish off these rough edges. After the hole is cut, you'll be able to see 
some of this interior membrane. I like to just stick my finger in, kind of rattle things around, shake it, and then the seeds and that membrane should come right on out. You can see how easy that is. I'll get back in, see if I feel any loose edges. And maybe come in with the handle of a spoon because the top part sometimes has extra membranes. Shake it again. Try to dislodge anything. And in no time at all, big pieces like this will come right out and the whole thing is done. And be sure to save all of these elongated seeds because this is the start of another birdhouse gourd plant. The seeds don't remain viable for more than a couple years, but there's enough here for me to share with all the gardeners I know, anyone that wants to grow birdhouse gourds. So my beautiful helpers are ready to go, but we still have one more step. So before we decorate these birdhouses by painting them, we need to anticipate that we will want to hang them, okay? So I have a 3 16th bit on my drill, and I'm going to just drill a hole through the top. all the way to the other side. And this is where we'll put the cord that we hang from. And then we also need some drainage holes in the bottom so that we don't have excess moisture. So I'm drilling three holes in the bottom. We're using just basic acrylic paint today and my beautiful helpers now are using the colors that they chose themselves to paint their individual birdhouses and of course there is no specific way to do this you can paint design put the colors on however you want So we finished painting our bird houses and now the next step is to let them dry overnight and then we'll put a coating so they're good to go outside and hang them in a tree. Did you girls like that project? If you're planning on putting your birdhouse outside, you'll probably want some type of protective coating over the paint. You can use barathane or lacquer, or I'm using a spray acrylic. To spray it, I like to hang it up beforehand. And so that top hole that we drilled is where you'll string wire or twine, or I've got a colorful yarn in this case. If it's a hard wire, you can just slide it right on through. But if it's soft, like this yarn, you might have a hard time feeding it from one side to the other. So for these gourds today, I actually just used a garden staple. I slid through one of the sides and then taped the yarn and just pulled it right through the holes. If you have a long needle, you can just thread the yarn or twine right through as well. And then once it's done, tie it off, take it outside, or put it in a cardboard box and begin to spray it. 
be sure you get the underside, the top, and try to get an even coating all the way around. You really don't want to paint or put any type of lacquer on the inside. So as you're spraying it, try to avoid buildup around the entrance hole. And then once the coating is on, hang it up to dry. And I just got these gourds hanging in the kitchen. After a few hours, everything is dry, ready to go. And now we're going to take these gourds outside and hang them on a tree. If you're hoping to have these as real birdhouses, when you do the research to find out about the size of the entrance hole, also look to see how high the birdhouses should be mounted because different birds have different requirements as to the height of their house. We're going to hang these between about six and ten feet high and hopefully get the birds that we're looking for. So the girls have decided where they want to hang their bird houses and now we're going to start with the first one. Go ahead. I'm holding the ladder so it's nice and stable and holding her so she doesn't fall off. Uh, there. And now we have one of the houses in the tree. Mm -hmm. I can see, I can see. And we've decided the location of the second birdhouse. Mm -hmm. This one's going to require tippy toes. Yep. <laughs> Go for it. Go. That's a good place. Wow. And now the second birdhouse is in the tree. Okay, we turned our birdhouse gourds into birdhouses and they're in the tree. If you do the right size hole and put it at the right height, you might actually get birds. Between you and me, it's more likely that this is an art project to add a little bit of color to your landscape. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know. If you'd like more of these gardening videos, you can subscribe to the Gardener Scott channel if you haven't already done so. If you like the video, you can give me a thumbs up. I'm Gardener Scott. Enjoy gardening.